Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, you know what this is? It is the discount, discount, discount. Vehicle, vehicle, vehicle. Pick of the week. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Anyways, listen. Yeah, discount vehicle pick of the week, where we take some vehicles, we give some honorable and notable mentions, and then we talk about. What my discount vehicle pick of the week is. We don't base it on price or performance. It's just, you know, it's, it's just a, a cool vehicle. And it can be about price. It can be about performance. But typically, it's just what I think are cool vehicles in the game. All right? You know what to do. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Don't miss out on any future content from me, all right? And definitely smash that like button if you guys enjoy it. You know you will. It's a banger. You know it. Come on. So first up, we have a honorable mention. It's going to be the Lampadari Komodo. All right, the Komoda is actually a really nice vehicle. It's on discount this week, 40% off. It's got a really nice sound to it. The exhaust note is really clean, really good. The vehicle just looks nice. It's a four-door, so you can have some of your buddies in there with you. And cosmetically, it has a great natural look to it. The car just looks amazing. It looks beautiful. But the cosmetic upgrades are crazy. You have a ton of upgrades for this vehicle i'm going through a couple of them now i'm going to show you everything all the way through uh regular time you got five different exhaust options you got some you know great hood options you got 18 different hoods now listen i understand that most of these options are going to be primary secondary and then carbon right of the same kind of look but i'm okay with that as long as you have the option as long as you have the different variants i'm cool with that you know, any vehicle that's a million or above should have a tremendous amount of customization to it because we know that in GTA Online, typically in a class, you know, this isn't the sports class, there's so many cars in there, but it's only, it's dominated by like, you know, one, two, or three. Actually, you know, I have to give the sports class a little bit of credit. There's actually three cars now that can be competitive. Uh, so that's, it's not too bad, right? But, um, you know, it's still really going to be dominated by the GTO and the Pariah. But the Komoda is really nice. This is a, a car show favorite. It's just a free mode favorite. It looks good, sounds good, drives really nice. And again, the cosmetics are there. The customization is there. I like that. You got mud guards. You saw the liveries on there. I love it when a vehicle has liveries. I think every car in the game should have something. Should have some kind of livery wrap to put on it to, you know, again, make it different. Make it stand out from all the other vehicles that are going to be out there. So I appreciate that. You've got, you know, your different respray options. You've got 12 different roof options. And uh, the differences may be subtle. But again, at least you have the options there. All right, because how many times have you been to a car show and someone pulls up next to you and they got the same whip you do? Down to the rims, right? Because you just don't have a lot of features to upgrade. Where at least if you add some cool customization, you know, changing the hood and a roof option can make two cars that are the same look totally different. So that's really cool. I really do appreciate that. 19 different skirt options. I mean, come on. Again, the changes are... Actually, the skirt options are pretty... They're, they're pretty dramatic in this. They, there's some pretty good changes on this. But some can be subtle, but still, you have that option to change them up, which is nice. 25 different spoilers. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. And not all of them are giant wings, which I really do appreciate that. I like the lower profile. I like the more minimal look. Some people don't, though. Some people like those big wings, and that's cool. You've got the duck tail. You've got the lip. You've got the, you know, the carbon. you got the extended, all that stuff. You know, so if you want the big wing, you can have it. If you don't, you don't have to have it. you got the bolt-on look, look, which looks amazing. I love that. Great detail in the game. Nothing wrong with that. There is one thing that kind of, you know, in regard to detail, held me back with the Komoda. From, you know, you, you could make this your pick of the week. But for me, the engine compartment, for as much detail as they put into this car, the engine compartment is still that 2D look, which, oh God, it's, it almost ruins it for me. Because when you're at a car show, you pop the hood and it looks like a paper mache blob in there. It's no good, right? All right, so moving on to the vehicle pick of the week, the discount vehicle pick of the week as I pick myself up off the ground. You know what it's got to be. It's got to be the Italian GTO. We don't normally make picks on performance, but damn it, this car is one of the best driving vehicles in the game, especially since it has been buffed from a while back. A while ago, you know, the car was manageable, barely. You could use it, 
but it was so the suspension was so jacked up it made it very difficult to drive in a race even though it performed well well they buffed it and it's still pretty scary to drive but it's much more manageable you get going in a straight line you start hitting some bumps it will get away from you but it is it's a night and day difference from what it used to be all right so the grotti italia gto is in the sports class it's one of the metas in the sports class this the pariah and the nsx or the rsx i always mix it up the uh it's the rsx my bad i think i called it nsx earlier anyways though you guys know what i'm talking about the pariah and the g2 are going to be your two top ones and i am grad i'm, I'm kind of getting back into the g2 i used to use a pariah a lot because i just liked the looser handling but i've been getting back on the gto and i'm going to show you a race a little bit later on here and why that I do think the GTO is just a better vehicle over a race with for everybody even though I mean look at that engine compartment that's so nice but even though it still has a little bit of the suspension issues again it's so much better than what it used to be but the cosmetics are there with this vehicle the performance is there with this vehicle um, it's based off of a real-life legend I mean it really is uh, so I mean it's got everything going for it, it performs it has the cosmetics uh, it's fun to drive. It's not too terribly bad. Uh, it's 40% off this week, which is nice, definitely. So it brings it at just over a million dollars, at $1,179,000 on the discount this week. And that is not bad. That is not bad at all. All right. Uh, you know, even if it wasn't on discount, you'd still, I'd still recommend it as the first or the discount vehicle pick of the week. You, you need to have it. You really do. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful car. It's got great liveries. Customization is there. And I appreciate that. I love the engine compartment. There's nothing better than being in a car show, popping that hood, and it looks like a real engine. It looks like a real motor. I, I really do appreciate that from whoever does the, the cosmetic designs with Rockstar on GTA. It's, uh, that's, it's appreciated, guys. All right, I know it may take a lot of extra time, but coming from me, this little old GTA YouTuber, it's definitely appreciated, and you know, it's, it, it's, it's a nice touch. We, we notice it, and we do appreciate that, all right? Um, so that's cool. But like I said, you know, the performance is there, the customization is there, and because of the buff, it just drives really good. It really, really does. And a couple of things that held back on the Komoda, like I said, the motor, the the way the engine looked, the interior wasn't that good on the Komoda. On the on the Italia GTO, all those things are there. You can uh, you can adjust the color of the interior, which we're about to see right here, the trim, which you know it's it's not a major, but it does help out. It helps accent with the paint of the car, you know, it helps add to your customization, which is appreciated. You know, you got to have that, right? Nothing wrong with that at all. Got your crew emblem you can put on there, which looks really nice. Just like on the Komodo, you've got roof options. You have a good amount of them as well, which makes your car look different from everybody else's if you got the same vehicle out there in a car show. I wish these things did different things. Just like the open wheel race cars, their different cosmetics will affect, um, you know, the downforce, which affects your speed and your handling. Honestly, I wish it was the same for the cars in the game. Because in real life, that's the way it is, right? You add scoops and lips and, you know, things like that. And it does affect the, the downforce. It affects your traction. It affects your top end speed. It affects drag, things like that. So I do think it should be part of, uh, the, the you know, the racing um, variables in GTA 5 Online. Maybe in the next installment, that's a possibility. Or in the expanded and enhanced, you know. Uh, we got the suspension... It's nothing, you know, it doesn't camber your tires. You don't have to have that. I'm okay that it doesn't. On some of the cars, I think it looks really cool. On this guy, don't need to have it, though. It looks good just the way it is. The rim options are really nice. It's really good right there. The windows, I leave mine untinted. I think it looks better. Plus, you can see the, uh, the engine through the glass on the hood. Now we're going to the race right here. Now, this race, I actually did very bad. I crashed three times in this race. Okay, it wasn't a very strong group of racers. The cars, you could tell by the cars, they weren't um, experienced in racing. But I crashed three times. So what does that say about me, right? It was just, it's my first race that I've had in a long time, okay? You know, uh, stunt races are double money this week. So I, was, was, I just want to get on there just kind of to show you guys how the performance was. And, uh, and the Italian GTO is just so nice. It's, it performs really well in street races and just as good, if not better, in the stunt races. And uh, it, it was just a good, you see right here, I didn't play the slipstream right, and it bit me in the ass. And uh, luckily that guy, you know, spun out right there too. But yeah, three crashes, that was one of them right there. And I'm just going to fight. I, I, I'm not a big fan of uh, slipstream. You know, I, I know most everybody does that. Uh, and most everybody runs with, you know, 
regular racing. With, you know, I, I usually have non-contact on just to avoid all the trash out there. But it's okay. I like to mix it up too, right? And luckily, big shout out to this guy here. I think his name is Wheelman95. He was racing clean and legit. I was trying to as best I could. Again, I just haven't played in such a long time. I haven't raced in a very, a very long time, so I was a little rusty. But uh, I'm trying to play the slipstream in the, in the proper way. You know, he was too. He got a little sideways right there. Tried to stay away from him. We got into each other's uh, door panels there. No big deal, though. And, uh, you know, you have to kind of gauge what you're doing with the slipstream. But I know the Italian GTO is just faster than his car. Even with in 99% of all races, they've got slipstream, they've got ketchup on, and ketchup, if you're in first place, ketchup will automatically down throttle your car, okay? So even with that, I knew I could be faster, right? Uh, and that was an important move that I did right there. Right before that stoppy, I, I moved over a little bit because I knew he was right behind me on my slip, uh, slipstream. So I moved over to the left and gave him the room he needed to just plow into his stoppy so it wouldn't hit me and just bump me off. So you, these are things we have to pay attention to in races. You have to you have to drive for the other driver. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you have to anticipate and you have to allow them to be a shitty driver. You do. I'm sorry, no no disrespect, but you know, I you know, from being in plenty of races, you know, someone's on your slipstream, you have those stoppies, they're going to run right up your ass, you know, and mess you up. And they'll be fine, right? Cuz they still have the the loss of the momentum. But you see right there, I not only got the best lap by 10 seconds, I got the total you know, best time. Uh, and, you know, again, this wasn't a strong group, right? But I messed up three times, still able to come back. And the Italia GTO just has that great performance. That's why it's such a good vehicle to use in racing in the sports class uh, and for stunt or regular street races overall. It's a really good car. So definitely is my discount vehicle pick of the week. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for coming out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game Smash. I mean, it's most Smash, that like button. We'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah.